Hey everybody, Yankees 300 here, and uh, <clears throat> I'm going to show you today how to make a lightsaber clash with the wall, so that I'll make a kind of a cool little burn mark. So, uh, let's see here, let's get this out, alright here we go, and this footage here is a picture of my friend, kind of, you know. Just kind of doing stupid stuff with the, with the lightsaber, but as you can see, it's just a lightsaber. It doesn't have any, like, how do I put it, light to it. And we are going to change that so it can have light and a burn mark. So that's what we're going to do. So let's see here. Let's get this on the timeline correct. And let it be lined up there. Okay, good. Alright, awesome, here we go. First thing we want to do, okay, if you do not have this preset, it's probably one of the best presets to get at www.videocopilot.net. And it's a lightsaber preset. It's preset is just amazing I mean it I mean it saves you so much time and it's just awesome oops what sorry I forgot you had to make that on new layer to actually solid so let's do that again um, sorry about that uh, copilot and Okay, as you can see, we have this kind of cool looking lightsaber stick. You don't really know what it is. You can change this color here. I just kind of change it to purple because I, I hate that color, but I don't know. I'm gonna, it's kind of a gay color, but I don't care. I'm going to put it there. <laughs> um, I feel like the thickness down a little bit. And as you can see, if you turn the glow on and off, it makes a huge difference. And you want to hit the start position and this end position here. So what you're going to do is you're going to just go frame by frame. Just kind of place that over that. Yeah, there we go. Um, I haven't done tutorial before so if you want to leave a comment how to improve it go ahead please um yeah so anyway after a couple of frames sweet Make sure that's lined up correctly with it. Alright. See, that's looking pretty good. I guess. Yeah, just for some other information, I'm 14. No, uh, high school is pretty crazy these days. <laughs> no, I just felt like saying that. Okay. Oops, didn't want to do that. Let's see what we got so far. Actually, do you know what? Because this is going to take up a lot of my tape, I'm going to just kind of cut it to right here. So this video can. Where's my lightsaber controls? Oh, there we go. Okay. So here we got. 
lightsaber. Kind of cutting into my wall there in my room, which I didn't really appreciate that. That was kind of mean. Hmm. Looks pretty good. What do you think? Yeah? Mm hmm. Pretty good. Let's see what that looks like far. So. Awesome. Do I just change the color here? My favorite color, blue. No, it's not really that good. Blue. <laughs> um Let's go red. Yeah. Sick. Okay. Now let's turn this white solid off so we can see right there he hits it. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make a new, click on our composition, make a new solid. Make sure it's a black solid because you want your burn mark to be black and composition size. So, let's kind of make a cool looking thing there. Hmm. Oops. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Let me grab that stupid thing. Cause I'm gonna zoom in here so it looks good. Oh, there we go. It's much, much better. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to want to go down to my camera probably won't be able to pick it up, but you want to click on the black solid, click the little dropping arrow bar, go to mask, go to mask one, and go to mask opacity first thing. So when it hits it, the frame before it hits the wall, you want to click the stopwatch and drag it all the way down to zero. And then the next frame, you want to take it up all the way to 100 pretty much. You want to kind of drag it over that. There we go, it's kind of pretty good. And we're going to want to change this mask feather up probably a lot. And we'll not say about one or two pixels, probably two. So let's see what we'll get out of that. Yeah, it's pretty good. Actually, it's probably go one, so it's a little darker. There we go. Yeah, there we go. And we're gonna go the mask shape. So we're gonna go to the next frame. Pretty much just throughout the whole thing. Just make a burn mark pretty much. Kind of trouble, you know, putting it all the way back on again and doing it again. It's kind of gay. So let's see what that looks like so far. So it's, yep, all right. So let's see here. Oh, wow, that looks pretty good if you can't see it there. It's kind of draws a little pen mark. It's probably one of the best ones I've actually done probably. Uh, um, now let's put this little eye back onto it. Now let's hit the glow. 
Now let's watch this. First, let's see. Render. It's actually turned out pretty good, actually. It's going to turn out this good. Hmm. Nice. Alright, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please post a comment. See if I can get back to you. Thanks for watching. Bye.